The coronavirus has interrupted lives, of course, of many people, and that's especially true for senior citizens. Senior living homes throughout Siouxland have put a hold on visitors and outings to help protect the residents during this time. KCAU 9 reporter Lydia Vasquez joins us from East High School, where students there, uh, now at home, are brightening the day of some of those seniors. Lydia, how are they doing it? It all started with the intent to lift spirits. The student council advisor at East High School says her students have been feeling really down since school's been out. That's why she introduced a pen pal-like relationship for her students to communicate with seniors who may be feeling down like they are during this time. I wrote two letters to two different people and hopefully they write back and we start kind of that pen pal relationship and they're a little bit less lonely. East High School student council members chose the residents of Bigford Senior Living to write to. They wrote letters, drew pictures, and are now waiting to hear back from their new pen pals. We tell about ourselves a little bit and then ask about their background. Where are you from? What are you doing? What have you done in the past? What are your interests? Random acts of kindness are really important, especially in like hard times like this. And I'm hoping that they can find a friendship and hopefully maybe they can mentor some of us too. I hope it just brightens their day and just makes them realize they're not alone in this, as though it seems like physically they are, like there's no visitors coming to see them. But us as a people, as a whole, like as a, just kids in the community, we are there for them. Michelle Pick is the student council advisor at East High. After every student wrote their letter, she drove around town to collect them and deliver them to the residents at Bigford. I want them right now to have a sense of purpose still. Um, just because we're sitting at home and we're not able to really go anywhere and interact physically, that we still can make a difference in the world around us. She says she hopes this project will help her students and the residents at Bigford Senior Living. I just really want them to know that we're thinking of them, and I want them to have something to think about during this time when they don't have all their other options available to them. Student council members say they want seniors living at Bigfoot to know that they're not alone during this time. Reporting from East High School, Lydia Vasquez, KCAU 9 News.